Today we have not one, but two new products to show you. They're the same products, kind of. It is the brand new Ray-Ban Metas. Logic Control Active. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, welcome to Everyday Reviews. Today I want to share with you one of the coolest tech gadgets in my toolbox this year. Okay, so I saw these at CES 2024, tried them on, I'm like, I gotta have them. They're not brand new, uh, but I'm usually a little bit late to the party. These are the Ray-Ban Metas. So, in case you didn't know what they are, uh, Ray-Ban, of course, is a sunglass company, uh, and Meta is the owner of Facebook and Instagram. So they've partnered up, and they've come up with these glasses here. So they are sunglasses, but they are kind of smart glasses. First of all, if you'll notice, the case has a light on it because this is the charging uh, case as well. So it has a USB port uh, type C on the back here. It does come with a cable, but does not come with the actual uh, wall portion of it. Most people have that anyways. Uh, so these glasses here, this happens to be the gloss black with the amber lens in the Wayfarer design. Uh, for the frame. You can also get them in the headliner, which is the more round frame. These ones fit me better. I do have other Ray-Bans as well. And um, I'm, I'm gonna say this right now, it's kind of funny and, and you'll see it you know, in the title. These are the most expensive sunglasses that, are, that you can possibly buy. These glasses are worth thousands of dollars, but not really, I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, so, uh, put these on. And all of a sudden I hear something, yes. There is audio that comes out of these glasses, but uh, let's talk about the lens first. This amber lens, I picked these ones because I like the amber tint inside even right now. It actually brightens things up. Uh, when, it's, when it's rainy outside as it is right now, and overcast, once again, it brightens everything up and it's nice. So what's so different about these glasses? Yeah, there is some sound but it's because there is a button here on the top of my right temple and I can either push it for, it just took a picture and I can press it, long hold, and now we are actually taking a video. Yes, see? We'll see this video in a second here of little Benny, right Benny? Good boy. Anyways, I could also use my voice commands as well. Hey Meta, stop recording. So what kind of photos and video are we taking? Well, it has a 12 megapixel camera. I'll show you some of these photos here. These are all unedited photos. And the video, uh, since it's owned by Meta, it's made for like Instagram and Facebook, which means it is not 16 by nine, it is portrait. Uh, and you're limited to 60 seconds, which, is kind of like very handy because that's what how long uh, you're doing a story for on Instagram or, or a reel for instance. Uh, so you are limited to that, which I'm fine with. Now there's 32 gigs of memory uh, in the glass themselves. And then you use your app called the MetaView. And when you actually go, you connect up with it, it creates a its own Wi-Fi with the glass and your phone and it imports Import today. Now, the one thing that I wish though is let's say I'm taking a video here. Oh, I didn't want that video. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there because I'm maybe I'm waiting for something. Maybe my best, my favorite sports team to come out of the tunnel and I want to record it. And you know, there and I've tried a couple of times. Now, when you go into your app, it's going to show you all of those clips, or it's gonna import all those clips. You don't have a choice to just go and, hey, there was only one of those that I want out of 10 recordings. It's gonna bring them all in, and then it gets transferred to your phone's camera uh, roll, which is no big deal. You can just go and delete them out yourself, uh, but it'd be nice to be able to just go and just, hey, just delete all those nine and just keep that one and just import that one. It just saves a little bit more time. But overall, I think the quality of the video is, is quite good. Go to sport mode and launch control active. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, there she is, the Ego Bristle Brush 
with my multi-tool, we're gonna use it to clean the turf. Whoa! There's a lot of resistance, you gotta push hard actually. If you consider that it's coming out of a pair of sunglasses. In these sunglasses, there's a 12 megapixel camera. There is a video camera. There, there, there's Bluetooth audio. And there's the battery and a processor to do it all within the frame of these sunglasses, which is incredible. By the way, if you'll notice, um, we got two cases here. Why? Because I'm gonna show you another pair of the Metas. These, once again, are the Wayfarers in that charging case, but you'll notice a little bit different with the lenses on here. Okay, these are clear. These are the transitions. So I bought these ones first and then I, I enjoyed them so much uh, and I wanted to use them in some cases like at you know, some trade shows or auto shows. Uh, and I thought, well, you know, it's like, it's just odd wearing a sunglass inside. Yeah, if you're like really cool and a celebrity, yeah, you can, you can get away with it. I'm not. So, I, you know, it, just, it was just kind of, kind of weird. So I wanted, okay, I wanted a clear glass, but I thought, okay, the transitions are the best because now it's clear. If I go outside, when the reacts, it reacts with the UV light and it will darken and so it transitions into a sunglass, which is very nice. This, these transition into a green tint though. I wish I could get it into that amber tint. I love that tint. Uh, but yeah, they do transition. Be aware though, if you are using these to drive, depending on your car, a lot of automotive glass has UV protection. And so these may not darken. If they do, they might not darken very much to how much tint that you'd prefer as for a driving glass if it's really, really bright out. So be aware of that. Uh, so you may have to actually have two pairs, maybe you know, another pair of sunglasses in your car for actual driving. Um, but um, yeah, so I will show you also how long it takes for these to go dark and then to come back again. But one thing I also wanna show you is these also, there's music playing right now. I'm going to turn it down a little bit right now. Okay, I'll just, I'll take the mic off and see, so you can hear it here. Now, I'm gonna turn it up really loud, just so you have an idea of how long, how loud it is. Okay, so that was pretty loud. So right now I have it probably at about 25% right now. Okay, okay, I'll pause it right there. And what I like about these is that a lot of times I just have it on just, just so faintly, you know, 20, 25%. As long as it's not too loud outside or wherever you are in your environment, it just adds such a nice ambiance and just, you know, like who doesn't like some background music, whether you're in a restaurant or wherever, and when there's nothing there, silence is deadly, right? It's just, it just changes your whole mood. And that's what I love about these. These are, these are mood changing glasses, not just, not just light changing glasses. Uh, yeah, so you'll notice also, I was using the right arm as a touch pad, because that's how I can go and I can go and tap and it's going to play music as it is. I can increase the volume by sliding forward and back. I can skip the song by double tapping. Okay. And then I'm gonna pause again. Now this also works in conjunction with Spotify. I have it right now working with my Apple Music just as a, basically as, as a Bluetooth headset. That's, that's what it, how it works. So I can't ask it, you know, like, like I would for Siri to play a certain song but I can go into my phone and just find a playlist or a radio station or a podcast that I wanna to listen to and I can just control uh, playing it with the glasses there. So very, very basic. And that's what I like about these glasses that it, they're high tech, but they're actually low tech. 
This is, this is non-disruptive. There is nothing coming on to the screen at all or, or your glasses. Um, there is one, you might notice, when I go and record, all right, there is, in my peripheral, I can see a little bit of a light showing me that I'm recording. But not only that, you can see that I'm recording because there is a flashing light there. And that's to notify everyone around you that you are recording. It's for privacy. Uh, and they actually have put in this thing in here that if you block a, that light, uh, if you know, let's say you want to put a sticker or put a marker over it, it will actually not operate. Uh, so, you know, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're outside and it's bright out, you can barely see that anyways. Now, I really wish I had these last month when we went to Southern California and we went to all the theme parks and Disneyland. These would have just been a blast to have on some of the rides and just, you know, a, a great way to be hands-free. Also, uh, if you're doing, um, you know, like videos like me for YouTube, unboxing things, it's so nice to have your hands free or for me for driving, for actual driving scenes, um, it's great because you're concentrating on the road, you're concentrating on whatever you're doing, not worried about having a phone or a camera holding it uh, for you. So uh, yeah, there's just you're, you're just wearing a pair of glasses like you normally would wear them. That's what I love about them and I think they're pretty incredible. And so what's coming down the pipe though, uh, is some smarter features, but still uh, making these still non-disruptive. -disru right now, there are some beta testers out there and they have early access, but it's coming down. Depending on when you watch this video, it already may be out, but I heard rumors that it's coming out in March sometime in 2024 for the United States. Uh, so with the new update, you're going to be able to use these for a lot more than, right now I can say, uh, hey Meta, What's the weather today? Hey Meta, stop. Hey Meta, what time is it? It's 2.21 p.m. All right, so that is about the extent of Meta's AI capability at this time, but when this new update comes, it's going to allow you to do way more. For instance, uh, I can go and grab these flowers and ask Meta, you know, what kind of flowers are these? Or how do I take care of these flowers? And it's gonna go through its data bank. I could go and look at a tray of ingredients and ask Meta what, what I can make for dinner with these ingredients and it will search and locate recipes. And this is one of the coolest features, I can't wait, uh, and especially if you, if you like to travel a lot, is you'll be able to go and let's say be in a foreign um, area or, or a country to you and with different languages and look at something like a sign and have Meta translate that for you. That's wild, that is so wild. And that's all going to come, you know, it's no extra cost, no subscription or anything uh, with that. So how much are these glasses? Well, these amber uh, with the regular sunglass lens uh, are $299 in the US and $369 in Canada. There are different lenses you can get, different options you can get for um, lenses and for the frames. Now, if you want to go for the transitions, these are definitely more money. Uh, in Canada, these were uh, $4.59, so $90 more. Now, but if you look at the big picture, though, for $2.99, for instance, for these glasses, it's about 100 and just over 100 bucks more than a regular pair of Ray-Ban wafers. And for $100, I think it's, it's, it's a bargain that you're getting a 12 megapixel camera, a video camera, a Bluetooth headset, uh, you know, an AI, you know, assistant and a cool pair of sunglasses for a hundred dollars more. I, I think, I think it's a no brainer. Uh, now the question is, do you get the regular or do you get the transitions? hundred percent up to you right now though. These transitions are hard to find because a lot of people thought the same way as me and going, Hey, guess what? I like these, 
but I wish I could have a clear pair for you know inside like we are right now. And uh, yeah, so you got they're they're back ordered in a lot of places. I managed to find these uh, at Best Buy, but sometimes you might be able to find them on Amazon. So what do you think of these glasses? Not just the looks, because they're just kind of like regular sunglasses, but some of the features. Uh, once again, I didn't even buy it for the video or photo. It's basically for the Bluetooth, not having to have anything in my ears, going and taking this guy for a walk and listening to my favorite, you know, music or podcast and everything else like this. And, and it, it's, there's no compromise. You're just wearing glasses. Now the Meadows are really good for giving you notifications as well if you're using Messenger or WhatsApp or even your native phone messaging or text. It will actually, your phone from see, one just came in. Okay. okay, so we just had a message come in right there. Uh, but is the phone features using these to make phone calls. I am basically 10 out of 10, 10 for 10 right now, every time that I've used these and called someone or someone's called me and I've used them and I've asked them how is the audio yeah, quality that, it is apparently it's, it's just amazing it's better than yeah, using good. ear pods right, okay, a lot yeah, of times yeah. it's better than even using the the hands-free system in the new cars that I drive there are five microphones built into this this unit here now uh, some of them are, there's microphone in the actual bridge of the nose area even so apparently if you actually have a larger nose, you may actually have to get this, this little piece, the little extend, extending piece, because your nose may actually block the microphone. So be aware of that as well. But for the majority of people, I think it's going to work. Definitely works for, for me, so. Um, yeah, and you know what? Even the wind control and the, no, the noise um, isolation is pretty good. Here's a video here of just me going on the scooter Okay, the video is pretty impressive, but what's also impressive with these metas is the audio quality. So I'm gonna do a test here. We're gonna run down the, on the scooter here. We're doing 40 kilometers an hour. This is what it sounds like. All right, we're gonna slow down here. All right. There we go. See how the wind is. Another thing you can do with the Ray-Ban Metas is you could live stream with no time limit on Facebook or Instagram with them. Uh, also, if you're wondering how long does it take for the transitions to actually switch over to dark or light, well, here's a couple examples. Essentially, the brighter it is, the faster and darker they turn. So in this instance here, it is fairly dark day, overcast, and it took about close to a minute for it to get to its darkness for that type of condition. And to get light again, it took about another minute. Now in this example here, it was sunny, and as soon as that sun hit those lenses, it was almost instant darkness. And now the darker they get, the longer they take to get back clear. So it's all gonna depend on how bright it really is. So why did I say these are some of the most expensive sunglasses you can buy when they're only like 300 bucks? It's because I love sunglasses. I have about a dozen pair of glasses and I kind of compare these kind of like to the Apple Watch. Once I got the Apple Watch, I never wore any of my other watches. So now I've just added two more pairs to my sunglass stable yet I don't think I'm really gonna wear those other ones very much. Um, I do prefer some of the other styles, but I, I am missing, I've actually tried, I've went out with my, some other sunglasses, and I'm just like, ah, you know, it's like I really wish I had my Metas because I want to listen to some music or I wanna use them for talking on the phone. I don't wanna put anything in my ears and these really do have the perfect solution uh, for that. Plus, they do take video, so. It's pretty cool. They're just gonna get smarter and smarter. But uh, for now, I think, I think they're a good deal. If you are interested in getting a pair of these, I will leave an affiliate link for my Amazon in the video description. It doesn't cost 
any extra. It's the same price everywhere. It just helps the channel out if you do buy it from that link. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I uh, hope to see you on the next video. Ciao.